Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of What Not To Render, the show where I try and explain the common mistakes that I see in my time as the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre of Design Technology. In today's episode I'm going to be looking at overlapping geometry. What it is, what it does and why you shouldn't render it. Here's the scene that I've got set up in Maxwell Studio. It's just some identical primitives with a glass material applied. The glass is low grade, hence the green appearance. And the environment is just a sky dome. But if you look closely at these cylinders, for example, you can see that there are some black areas here at the top which aren't visible at the bottom. And there are some differences in the cone as well. And the reason for this will become clear when I spin the model around. The objects on the top aren't touching, but the objects on the bottom are. And if you can see if I go down a bit, you can actually see the intersecting geometry. Now what this means is that when the camera is looking at the objects, Maxwell Render is seeing different normals to what it should do. And remember that the normals are a property of the polygons in the mesh, which tells the camera which way the polygon is facing, either towards the camera or away from it. So for example, if I go around to the front again, if we take these cubes as an example, in the top two cubes, Maxwell knows that it's going into a material, and then out of one, and then into one, and then out of one. However, on the bottom, because the geometry is intersecting, as far as Maxwell is concerned, it's going into an object, then into an object again, and then out of an object, and then out of an object again. And long story short, it's getting confused, and it's leading to the results that we see here. You can see that these lines here are very, very different to what they should be up top. And also, the sphere on the right-hand side isn't behaving as it should, compared to the one on the top. Intersecting or overlapping geometry is really just down to the modelling. And it's always good practice to not model overlapping geometry, even with opaque objects. However, as you can see here, when it comes to transparent or translucent objects, it really does have an influence on the scene, and your final image. So don't model overlapping geometry, and also don't set up your render in such a way that it leads to overlapping objects. That is what not to render. Thanks very much for watching. Any comments, questions or suggestions, email me at maxwellrenderbrightoncpt at gmail.com or tweet me at jcommon underscore design. I'll see you again soon.